Welcome to this, the first of two videos on how to use radio buttons in a Java program. My name's Andy Wicks, and before we get into exactly what this program is doing and how it does it, I'd like to show you what it produces. It just produces the user interface. There is no code behind the Mark Me button. All it does is produce what you see on the screen here. So it's creating a simple quiz. Who first walked in the Americas? And who first walked on the moon? And there are four options for each. In the second program, we'll be looking at how this is scored. The Mark Me button in this program just produces a, a dialogue that says, Marking Underway. So let's have a look and see how this user interface was created. The first thing I'm going to do is to create all the bits and pieces that I need for that user interface. I need a panel into which to put all the controls. I'm going to need a spacer so that there's a bit of space between who first walked on the Americas question and the who first walked on the moon question. Then I'm creating the label, so who first walked in the Americas is just a label that will go into the panel. I then have to do the clever bit. I'm going to create a button group. What we want is for the buttons in the first question to be completely separate from the buttons in the second question. If there was no button group, what we would have is when we clicked any radio button, you could also click any other radio button. And that's obviously not what radio buttons do. We want the first four to work together. So that when the user clicks on one, and then changes their mind, because users do that, the next one they click on unclicks the first button and selects the second. And that's something that's pretty standard in programming. And to do that, you need a button group. And each button group is separate. So there's a group for question one, and there's a group for question two. Then, for each grouping, I need to create the radio buttons. Now the potential answers for my questions just happen to be the same, mostly because I'm a lazy little toad. But uh, I'm going to have a radio button for Stone Age Hunters, a radio button for Chinese Explorers, a radio button for Christopher Columbus, and a radio button for Neil Armstrong. And these four are going to be repeated, and I need to be able to find out which one of these was actually selected. So for question one I've called them with a one at the end and for question two I've called them with a two at the end. That's because I'm a mathematician. Finally what we need is a button that allows us to mark the test. Now, As I said we're not going to be looking at the code for that in this video that's the next video. But those are the pieces that we need. We can now move on to see how the program develops from there. Well, first of all, I'm going to create the usual uh, main procedure that merely sets up the radio buttons environment. So I'm going to centre the frame, make the frame visible, and that will do this code here. I'm going to have a border layout. And I'm setting the size of my form to 400 pixels by 300 pixels. The title at the top is Radio Buttons Example 1, Set Up. And when somebody clicks the little cross in the corner, I want the whole close operation to happen. Now I can start setting up the bits. I'm going to add each of the radio buttons for the first question to the group for that first question. So since there are four radio buttons in that first group, I'm adding four radio buttons to group question one. I'm then doing exactly the same for group question two. 
There I'm adding the radio buttons for the second question. We now have the two groups set up. I'm now setting the center panel for the border layout to have a grid layout that is just one item wide. That means what we get is a column of things going down. Here I'm going to put in the label for question one and then I'm going to add the radio buttons for the four options for that first question. So that is now question one set up. Now because I want there to be a space between the first and second questions I'm now going to add that spacer. All it does is put a blank bit of text in between the two. It looks good when you create the uh, form. Now I can move on to question two. Here I'm going to add the label that contains the question two and then the four items, the four radio buttons for that question. All of this is being added to that center panel. Finally I'm going to add that button and add its action listener. So that means that this form is now set up in the panel. I can add that panel to the center component of the border layout. And my user interface is created. The only other code is the action performed for the button mark and that's just a show message dialog in this video. What we get now is this. We get the screen set up, the user interface with who first walked in the Americas, the four radio buttons which work as a group, and then the next question which follow a space and that works as a group as well and then finally the mark me button and that's how you create the user interface for radio buttons